Beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I have the October 2019 Bead Crate Collector's Edition in front of me today. I've been subscribed to this box for over a year and a half now. I absolutely love it. If you like surprises in the mail and you are all about getting new shapes and fun colors of Czech glass, you'd probably like the subscription as well. And I love doing these videos so you can get an idea of whether or not this particular subscription speaks to you. I will leave their link down below. They do have two different types of subscriptions. This is the collectors, like I said, which is the larger of the two. It is as low as $31 a month with free shipping in the US, depending on how long you sign up for. And then their smaller box, the enthusiast starts at $18 a month and there is a shipping charge for that. So like I said, check out the link below to get all the information. This particular box does play along to a monthly theme and I have no idea what that is. So let's go ahead and crack into this box. All right, so here's our note on the top. We also have our bag of beads in this nice reusable bag and our little stamp here on the box. And when we open up our letter, we can see more about the theme here. The Bead Crate team just does such a great job of putting their themes together. And on the back of the letter is this wonderful organized list so you know exactly what you're getting. We have our notes down here. So if something is starred, you can see that it might be a collector's amount or a collector's exclusive, meaning the enthusiast or the smaller box wouldn't get it and whatever other notes might be relevant. And by the way, if you did wanna just try out a one-time box, you can do that for a little bit higher price than you would if you got an extended subscription so like for example this collector's edition would be I think $35 if you just wanted to sign up for one month just to give it a try and see how you like it all right so I know we're all excited to see what's in this bag so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the contents and we will go through everything one by one all right, so here is selection A, and this is called 13 by 11 millimeter luster opaque white bases. Oh my goodness. They kind of look like little masks to me. We will pop these out. You can take a closer look. And this is what I mean by getting different shapes from Bead Crate and everything going along with the theme. They find some of the most unique shapes that I just haven't seen in other locations and a lot of times on other retailer sites. So here are our faces right here. You can see that these are in a white with a bit of a luster finish as I'm moving them around under the light you can detect that and there is the hole running up and down through the bead and then next we have this bag containing three millimeter Montana blue a B drugs there's a hundred of these in the bag such a beautiful combination that smoky gray on these little tiny round glass beads and then the a B finish that just pops on part of the bead you can see the electric metallic shades of blue that are coming off depending on how the bead is sitting and they really do kind of remind me of a thunderstorm like dark clouds and some lightning I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of similar tones in our color palette today all right, here is selection C. This is a Tierra cast oxidized brass ghost charm. And Bead Crate typically does send mostly beads, but once in a while there'll be a little finding or a charm. And when they do, they do send higher quality. Like this is the Tierra cast, which is a higher quality finding. And what's so great is Bead Crate switches their themes up so often that if you are not as into one month, just wait till the next month and it's gonna be something totally different. So this is selection D, and we can get a better look at this outside of the bag. It contains six by nine Montana blue teardrops, and there's 25 pieces on the strand. So the Montana blue is this gorgeous slate, very dark bluish gray. And this is such a generous strand of teardrops. Those are a beautiful color. All right, next up is selection E, and this contains one millimeter, 20 pound test hemp cord in assorted colors, and mine looks like it is kind of a sage green. This would be one of their additional items that they include. Sometimes you'll get a type of stringing material or needles or some other type of component that's different than beads that you can use in your jewelry making. And there's quite a bit in here, so that's gonna be fun to play with. Next up is Selection F, and this contains two millimeter fire polish metallic beads in grenadine. So this is a deep burgundy reddish metallic, almost a little bit of a brownish red. You will notice that you get a nice variety of check glass fire polish beads in your subscriptions, which is a great way to bulk up your collection over time. So this is the two millimeter. I'm sure we will see some other sizes in this collection as well. All right, next we have Selection G, and this is our selection of Japanese glass seed beads. You might barely be able to see these, but they do contain 11O opaque frosted jet seed beads. This is a two and a half inch tube. Every month you will see a selection of seed beads pop up in your box and always very high quality. 
Next we have Selection H, and this contains a seven millimeter Matubo mix. These are ginkgo beads, which I love. I have done a tutorial using these in a necklace. You can see that some of the beads are matte black and these are black on both sides. And then included were some that are this silver metallic matte on one side and this glowing kind of frosted AB on the other. Here is Selection I, and this does contain another size of fire polish beads. These are a six millimeter suede gold black diamond. So to me, these have a grayish cast to the base of the bead, and then they have a bit of a matte gold luster. They're absolutely beautiful. They go well with our color palette here, and great to get another size of those. Next is Selection J, and this contains eight millimeter black diamond stars. There's 25 pieces on this strand. These are kind of a grayish, smoky quartz kind of a tone. You get a lot of these little stars. They are one whole bead. You can see the hole running right up through the center. They are pretty translucent, so they do let a lot of the light through, and they have a very glossy finish. Then next we have Selection K. This is another fire polish bead strand. These are three millimeter and the color is Luster Iris Opaque Beige. And even though these are beige, these are absolutely stunning. That luster finish on them makes them so sparkly looking. They are gorgeous when you move them under the light. And of course the base color we have here is such a nice neutral. It is a very light tan. And then we have Selection L, and this bag contains six by six matte black diamond bicones, and there's 50 beads in this bag. These are so fun, you get so many of them. We have the classic bicone shape here in the black diamond color, which again is that kind of smoky quartz type color. These are a matte finish, so they do have that frosted appearance to them, they're not as glossy. And instead of the points being sharper on these shapes, they're just a little bit more rounded. All right, next up we have Selection M, and this contains four by six millimeter Siam Ruby rice beads. There's 50 in here, and you'll see why they're called rice beads. If you don't already know, they are a small elongated oval shaped bead, kind of the shape of a small grain of rice, and these are in a very bright, bold, vibrant red. They are a bit translucent, so they do let some of the light shine through just beautifully, and these do have a gorgeous, glossy finish. Finish. I just love check glass beads so much. I think because you can really count on the quality of what you're getting. I mean, everything is just so uniform. You don't get strands with paint flaking off or irregular holes or jagged edges. The amount of shapes and variety they have to offer is just incredible. I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface and I've been doing these unboxings for quite some time. All right, so here is our next bag and this contains five by 13 millimeter jet spikes. Got what looks like little fangs right here, a little mouth. And it's just another shape to get you thinking if you like to have fun with these things like I do. So these are just a basic jet black glossy finish. And there is a look at the shape of the spike bead with the hole running there through the base of the cone. That brings us to Selection O, which contains six millimeter Montana blue disc beads. There's a hundred in here. And by the way, everything you're seeing from the point of when I shared the spike beads through the end of the box, they are collector's exclusive items, meaning that they would not be included in the enthusiast box, just to let you guys know. So these are a fun little shape. Like it says, they are disc beads. They are one hole beads and they are in the Montana blue, gray slate blue color that we had also seen in our teardrops. And here is another view on what these look like. Pretty basic, just thin round beads with that hole right in the center. And you get so many of them. All right, next up is bag P, and this contains six millimeter Montana blue antique style octagons, which I can tell I'm gonna love, because I always love it when we get these strands. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, how they are cut flat on the eight sides, and then you have that little bit of what looks like a little travertine or kind of a Picasso on either end of those beads. You can see the blue tone that is coming through when the light shines through them, and they also have a smoky gray cast and little flecks of brown brown running through the glass, which really give it that antique look. Then we have Selection Q, and this contains six millimeter Jet Hill fire polish beads. 
Okay, so something else that's new to me. These are a basic black glossy fire polish bead, but instead of the typical fire polish shape that you see that is a little bit longer, these are more stubby and more compressed, if that makes sense. Might be a little bit more difficult to see just because they are black, but there's another view of what that looks like. And I can see that they are kind of a hill shape. So one end is more flat, and then the other side kind of domes just a little bit more like a hill. That is pretty cool. All right, and then our final bag is Selection R, and this one contains seven by five millimeter black diamond AB cubes. Gorgeous AB finish on these smoky gray cubes and a nice long strand of these. They are called cubes, but they have rounded edges. We have that grayish black diamond translucent glass as the base, and then on part of the beads, you can see the AB finish popping up, giving it lots of bluish greenish casts and lots of light play going on in this strand. Brand. That is so fun. So that is everything, you guys, for the October 2019 Bead Crate Collector's Edition, the Bump in the Night collection. And the color story is beautiful with the deep Montana blue, that slate grayish blue, the pops of red, and the more neutral tones of the gray in the black diamond check glass. And of course, your pops of AB finish are just lovely as well. Everything is such high quality. And I love the fact that the themes change completely every month because you just never know what to expect. And I'm always impressed by the fact that I have been subscribed to their box for a while and I'm still getting new beads. I'm not getting repeats in these boxes. It's truly amazing the variety of check glass that is out there. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing with this color palette, some of these new shapes. I do these unboxings partly because I want to give you guys a close-up look at what is included so you can make an informed decision for yourself as to whether or not this particular box is right for you. So that is all I have for you guys. I want to thank you so very much for being with me for a another unboxing. I hope it was helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and as always, happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnoble.com. Thanks for watching.